Hello and welcome back to Sci-Tai Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you to make a very simple DIY rotating display stand with using an old barbecue rotisserie motor and making a 3D printed display stand. Let's get started. <laughs> Here, this barbecue rotisserie motor and I need to do some modifications to it because as you can see when I stand it up it does not stand up straight so what I need to do is I need to modify it by removing the switch and moving the cord and placing them both onto the side doing that will allow it to stand up more straight so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up pull out the electronics that are inside and then begin with the modification Open it up, and this is what the inside looks like. As you can see, it's an AC inductor motor, which I find very interesting. And it also uses a couple of gears, which is also very interesting. This actually looks very nice. First, what I need to do is I'm going to go and remove the switch. Remove the waterproof housing. Pull out the switch. and then pull the cables that are attached to the switch. There we go, detached just like this. Now I'm gonna go and take those cables and pull them out of the hole. There we go. And now I need to go and repeat the same process with the electrical cord. I need to go and remove this little piece here that holds the electrical cord into place. Next, I'm going to pull out the neutral wire and then remove the ground wire. There we go. Both wires are now removed. And now I'm going to go and pull out the electrical cord. There we go. And now pull it out. And there, it should look just like this. Now, as you can see, the housing seems to be very level and very sturdy, so that's a good thing. So what I need to do is I need to make the same holes for the switch and for the electrical cord and place them onto the side. Take some measurements of the hole that is from the switch, and I'm going to go and place it up here. Place the same measurements, so then that way I'd be able to cut out the plastic to be able to place the switch into place. And then I'm going to take some measurements of the electrical cord, make the measurement, and place the electrical cord on this side of the housing. And now I'm going to draw out the size of the holes, so that way I know where to cut. There we go. Next, I'm going to drill a hole that is the same size as the electrical cord. And now drill a second hole that is for the switch. There we go, just like that. Next, I'm going to take a file for my pocket knife and cut out a rectangular hole so that way I can be able to place the switch into place. There we go, just like this. Take the pliers and pull off the sides. And there we go. And there, now I have a rectangular hole. Now complete. I made this hole just a little bit bigger, and I've carved this out successfully. So it matches these two. A little bit smaller, because I want the wires to go through a snug fit, instead of using that little plug thing in there. And I'm not intending to ever pull on the cord. That's what this little thing was there to protect it from doing. And now it's time to take the electrical cord and place it into the hole. Place all three of the wires in, just like this, and then push the cord into place. And as you can see, it has a very nice snug fit, which is perfect. Next, I'm going to go and take the switch and put it into the rectangular hole, place it in, and there, it snaps into place. The live wire from the electrical cord is now attached to the switch, and now I'm going to take the live wire that is from the gear motor and attach it to the switch as well. Both 
wires are now connected to the switch. Take the neutral wire, connect it to the gear motor. Next, take the ground wire and attach it to the chassis. Place it in just like this. Take the screw, screw it into place. Next, I'm going to go and take the gear motor and place it back inside of the housing. And then put back the screws. There we go, just like that. Take this little housing plate, put it back into place, put the screws into place. And there you have it, the modification is now complete. And now it's time to test it out. I'm going to go and take the plug and plug it in. Turn on the switch. And there you have it, everything works. And as you can see, the motor is now turning, which means everything works. Next, I'm going to go and take some measurements, so then that way I have an idea of what size display plate I need to print. Next, I'm going to go and take some super glue and glue everything into place. Glue down the electrical cord and glue down the switch. Doing this will make everything stay in place more secure. Spray some activator. And there we go, everything is now secure. And here it is, the rotating platter that I 3D printed. I wish the top was a little bit cleaner. I don't know how that mark got on there, but I don't really care too much. As long as I can uh, have a smooth, flat top to put something on and have it rotate to display. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this and put it inside. This piece here is gonna lock in into here and it's gonna cause it to rotate. Perfect fit, go ahead turn on the switch and there it works I'm gonna take this piece that I made in a previous video it's pretty heavy and it rotates awesome and there you have it now you know how to make your very own DOI rotating display stand with using a modified barbecue rotisserie motor and using a 3d printed display table and there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTitech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.